Lovely viewers, you are welcome once again to Rona360. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. My name is Gideon. If today is your first time, kindly subscribe to the channel and also click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time we post a video. Rona360 is all about promoting and showcasing the arts, culture, and TV. So if you love the arts, if you love culture, if you love technical and vocational education, welcome home. This is home. This is Rona 360. So today we want to, you know, delve into Yvonne Nelson's book. I am not Yvonne Nelson. There are some three key things that I want us to spend some time to think about and also analyze to see what we can do, to see what we can learn, to see what we can actually impart and apply in our lives. So if you are ready, let's go. <music> Welcome back. Now, Yvonne Nelson, our very own, who has served the Ghana movie industry for years, she has actually paid her dues. She acted films in Ghana and in Nigeria and some part of Africa. As an actress who has contributed so much to the art and creative industry in Ghana, and she has also written a book, I think it is in the right place to talk about the, the book. There are three things that I want us to talk about. There are three things. So there are three things that I want us to think about with your book. The first thing is the, the title and the cover of the book. You see, it is said that you can judge a book by its cover. Yes. It's like how we have this uh, saying that you be addressed by the way you dress. So whatever is 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 dressing something whatever is covering something speaks volume if you have not had the opportunity to see the book cover of Yvonne Nelson's book I am not Yvonne Nelson this is the picture from the artistic point of view everything about this cover speaks volume now let's break it down let's talk first about the title the the text I am not even Nelson. Now, if you pay key attention, you will see and confirm that the text is in a black text ink. I mean, the, the, the color of the text is black. She could have used any color. After all, there are books that have the title in white, blue, red, but then black has a meaning when it's being used as the color for a book cover especially for this book now apart from the text or the title being in black which is point one point two is that there is a special emphasis on the not just look at the title again or the book cover again i am not and the word not is bolded the font size of the not is bigger than the i am and then the even nelson uh, that is it. There, that 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 special emphasis has a meaning, and we will talk about that. Then the third point is that the Evon Nelson, the font that is used for the Evon Nelson is not the same as the not and then the I am. Even though all two, the I am not and then the Evon Nelson, all belong to the category of serif font. Serif fonts when they are used for titles for books they have a very remarkable meaning to the book to the title the meaning adds up to the story so fonts are not just used anyway i'm saying this because i am a professional graphic designer i am an artist i did art in Kia university for four years i've been practicing art all my life that is why i created this channel to showcase and promote the art culture and tv so whenever we are giving the tax to design something you don't just wake up and just pick any font because font speaks every font you you use as a designer it speaks to volume and it adds weight to the title or the work you have you have created now with these three points down let's go into each one of them you see just beside the i am not 
which is in black ink or black color, is a full colored picture. And if you should look at the picture, the colors that are dominant in it could have been used to write the font just to bring harmony. But you see, the book is about someone's dark past, someone's regrettable past, someone's nostalgic past, a past that is pregnant with a lot of mysteries. So, the designer and the writer, knowing what they want to achieve, picked the color black. So that just by looking at the font, the book, you would realize that this book is pregnant with a lot of information. Things about someone's past. Things are going to be on earth. Keep this in mind. Things are going to be discovered. That is the reason. If it were to be another color, say blue, it would have been something about energetics, something about future and all that. This is about someone's past. So each color is symbolic. If it was red, it would have been a different thing altogether. But the black meaning, it is it is the book and the title is in sync with the person's story, which is diving or digging into the person's past. And the past is dark, is black. Now, serif fonts are fonts that have these tails. Okay, they, they have these tails and extensions. That, 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 that's just the basic meaning I can give to it for our friends who are not artists to understand. Yes, so anytime a serif font is used, it's about history, it's about tradition, it's about past. It is also about emphasis and integrity. Let me say that again. Anytime a serif font, either a sans serif or a normal serif font is used for any work, it means we want the work, the artwork, to connote a sense of history, a sense of past, a sense of tradition, a sense of integrity. Meaning that this particular book is about someone's past, his tradition and Tradition is about the way the person has lived his life, his family relation, his uh, uh, his religious life, his cultural life. But then, even though it's about his history, his tradition, he is going to be he or she is going to be honest with you. So there is a sense of integrity in it. <laughs> so when I saw the book title, I was like, "Wow!" Without even opening the book to read the very first chapter. I know what this book is going to be about because the font and the title alone is speaking to me as an artist who has been designing book covers and has been doing this for years. No wonder the ingredient or the stories in these books has gone, uh, in her book has gone viral because it is digging into her past, her tradition, which is about her family life, her business, her career, and all being underlined or all being laced with honesty and truth. And that is what the font was doing. Now, with that being said about the font, the type of font being being used and what it means and, and, and its implication to the book, let's go into the I am not even Nelson. You see, for someone to place emphasis on the word in his or her artistic work it means a lot all the writer or the author is trying to say is that just by looking at just by looking at the book cover without you even opening the book you know Yvonne Nelson but I just want you to know that the Yvonne Nelson you have seen for years it's not what you are going to see in the book. In other words, I am going to introduce you to another version of Yvonne Nelson you have never seen or you may not even know existed. That is one aspect of it. Another aspect of it brings a sense of sadness and a sense of misery because the author, by emphasizing the not, means that she herself does not acknowledge who she is. In other words, she does not believe herself to be who Yvonne Nelson is. 
That is, she is trying to deny her identity through the, the book. Her identity, one being that even the name Yvonne Nelson given to her, she does not even li- like it. She does not even want to be called Yvonne Nelson again. Maybe there's a history b- behind it. If you should read the, the book, and which we will go deeper in the book for you to l- see the linkage between the not and she denying her identity and even the name. Again, the knot brings a sense of not just the name, she denying the name, as in she being called Yvonne Nelson, but also everything about her, her culture, her education, her religion, everything that she has come to see and believe as Yvonne Nelson. In short, she is on a path of denial and a path of rediscovery. She wants to rediscover herself. And so this book is a book about her pain, about her journey to demystify and throw away who she herself has accepted to be her and she is no more in tune with that. Who she has portrayed for people to know all these years as Yvonne Nelson and who she wants to become. That is the essence of the knot, being bold. In other words, everything is supposed to be in the negation, in the negative, if you open the book and you read. And then, the Yvonne Nelson, the name Yvonne Nelson, is having this particular type of font, this special serif style font, like I said, just to let you know that it has this sense of tradition, this sense of honesty, this sense of integrity, this sense of past. So the name Yvonne Nelson being given her, being known in the movie industry, being celebrated as, as a philanthropist, as a as a celebrity, is pregnant with tradition, her honesty, self-denial and past. That is just the first part. Now, let's get into the book. There are two things that I want us to take into account. On this book because the book is for sale and i would want you to get a copy of the book so you read and appreciate reading builds the brain reading is good the first part is how even nelson sadly talks about and laments about a man she has cursed with everything that she can all her life because she was lied to by her mother that that man was her father. Yes, in the book, she details the account of how she detested and disliked this man even to his death. Until, and uh, 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 even to his death because when, when her mother told her that that man was her father and the man was so irresponsible, the man did not want anything to do with her she hated that man for life and this brings a point that i want all of us to you know take some time to think about it comes to confirm the african adage that it is only a mother who knows the father of the children oh yes the woman knew who even nelson's real father was but to reasons or for reasons unknown to Yvonne Nelson and us as the readers because the book did not give explicit reason why the mom lied. The mom decided to lie. And you know, in Africa, people lie about the paternity of their children for several reasons. It could be that that man has, has had a sexual encounter with, with, with the woman be, be, be before, so the woman was not sure whether that sex led to the pregnancy or two some women would lie about the paternity of their children or the father of their children because those men are rich and famous and come from a very good home and so those women want to be associated with those men or sometimes some of our sisters in africa or or in every part of the world would want to lie about the man who got them pregnant and then give that charge to another man simply because sometimes they want to do that to punish the man why because the man might have done something bad 
So this could be the three reasons. Could it be that the man who was not the right father of Yvonne Nelson might have had a sexual encounter or, or, or relation? Sorry to use the word encounter. A relation, an affair with Yvonne Nelson's mother and so the mother felt he could have been or Yvonne Nelson's mom loved that man. And so out of the love for that man, she just felt that let me give this child let me credit this man with this beautiful d- d- daughter so that it will seal the, the bond between us. Or could it be it was a form of punishment for that man for something evil or bad the man has done to evil nurse's mother? Or could it be that that man came from a very rich, respected and renowned family and so the mom wanted to associate or could it or could it be that even Nelson's mom saw this man as a responsible man and the man comes from a, a well-respected and revered family? And so, like we say in Africa, this old adage that Abuano Pekoko Aye Intina Odeno Tutuli is here. In literal terms, because the animal wants to be red or wants to be fair, the animal constantly scratches its skin against the anthill because the anthill is red and so by doing that the skin of the animal will also be red could it be that even nelson's mom did that just to be respected and honored because the man's family was honored and was respected this is something that has gone on for years and i bet you there are so many of us who are living around who knows who have respected and who have lived with some men for years who have taken care of us that all these years we we see them as our fathers and it might shock us that if we are to do a paternity test or if if our mothers are to do as the due diligence of telling us the, the truth maybe most of the men we we have allowed for years as our fathers might not be our real fathers this is something that happens every day in africa every day in europe every day in asia every day in the americas it is not anything new it is it has become a big news because our very own yvonne nelson is a celebrity and it's an actress who has played very key role in portraying some of these acts in movies over the years so the question we are asking and in fact, in the book, Yvonne Nelson stated that the, when her mom told her that that man was not her father, after she has detested and cursed the, the man all her life and disliked the, the man, the man died even before she got to know. And so her mom told her late and she couldn't get the opportunity to even go to the bedside of the man when she was on his bind. When, she, when he was on his dying bed to even apologize for all the hatred and all the curses and all the all the uh, uh, animosity all the hatred she has shown towards the man can you imagine someone hating an innocent man for several years only to know that the energy and the force and the resources she has pumped in hating and disliking that particular man was just waste why because the man was not even the right target for the hatred and so th- that is the reason why we need to get this book you see when you are reading the book just close your eyes for a while so that you will not see even nelson but rather you will see you know a, 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 a character who is sharing her sad story her life her, her sad life story spent years hating someone only to realize that person is not the, the dad. I think even this story can be a whole movie for Yvonne Nelson. And I would encourage her, being an actress and being a manager now, she can take this story, this part of her story up and make it into a full mo- a movie, which will be a movie that, that will advise women, that will advise men on what to do when people come to them and tell them they are pregnant for them 
that will advise children of the 21st century on what to do when they start hating someone that their mom says this is the man but then he is irresponsible children now should be wise to ask questions and if possible even ask for paternity test so that you you you, you know where to vent your anger finally i want to touch on the sarcodia part of even nelson's book there are several themes in even nelson's book but because it's out and she's selling if i'm to do the analysis of everything you will not go out to get a copy to read so let me just do the, the this last part the sarcodia part we all know about the pombe day the landlord aka landlord to my niggas in the block sarcodia over the pong yes sarcas king sack just give him all the accolades you love and you know he is a legend yes he has been able to uh, transform and transport the Ghanaian language tree one of the Ghanaian languages tree to the international market just by rapping in that language and a little bit of english so sarkodia is a public figure he he is a celebrity he is a, i mean he's a big person in i am not even nelson even nelson chronicles when sarkodia was a nobody when i say a nobody when sarkodia was at the beginning of his career how sarkodia had an intimate relationship with her now what is making news about this particular part of the story is that while sarkodia was having this, this intimacy with yvonne nelson was she going out with tracy her his wife if it was if he uh, if he was why would he do that could it be it is a culture in the creative industry because sometimes some people come to me and they ask questions hey that are you sure how these people are acting movies and they kiss and they do all that after the set they don't go <laughs> somewhere and continue because Charlie, if it was them they will not be able to contain themselves so so is it something that is prevalent in the movie industry personally as a professional photographer and a uh, videographer and an artist i know and i can say that that is not the case but then individuals are different people are different and so how come sarkodia had a relationship with yvonne nelson and it landed into pregnancy and when it landed into pregnancy because sarkodia because yvonne nelson was concerned that sarkodia did not have money came from very poor background they both agreed to abort the pregnancy you see i want to say that what happened to yvonne nelson in her her story which is chronicled in her book i am not yvonne nelson might have been a repetition of history might have been a repetition of history how her mom got pregnant and deliberately gave the pregnancy to another man and so sir called uh, uh, even nelson might have been worried about this pregnancy that I, am i sure it is sir Kodye? and if it is sir Kodye, how will it be would this child grow to love him or hate him because sir Kodye back then was no body and so will not be able to take care of my needs just as my father is not taking care of my needs and so even nelson acted with love wisdom and fear that is why it is in her book titled i am not even nelson and these things happen each and every time could it have been that if even nelson allowed herself to give birth to this child that would have been the first child of Sarkodie and could that have led to Yvonne Nelson or Sarkodie staying with Yvonne Nelson or they agreeing to marry that is why it is in her book I am not Yvonne Nelson and I mean these stories are now coming up because people are asking the question why now why now and 
why it should be now because even nelson wants to free herself you see we have seen her as a very strong woman as as a champion as an advocate for women's rights and 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 uh, the democracy i remember those days she led the doomsaw you know float or do some match so she just wants us to know that look i have been an epitome of strength of bravery i have been an epitome of love to many young people but i just want you to know that in as much as you see me as a strong person i am human just like you i have some dark past that when i think about it it makes me cry it makes me so sad just as you you also are have so see me as a sister see me as a human let this aspect of my life also challenge you to know that oh so this woman has have has harbored all these things in her mind all these years but yet she she has the courage to smile and go about her duties each and every day that is the essence of, of, of it so she's trying to l- a, 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 a separate herself and then give a new identity to herself looking back at her old self to draw strength for her new self that's all that i have for you uh share with us what you've also heard about her book what you've also read if you've got an opportunity to read and like this video type in the comment section and please subscribe so that we can grow together as usual i will always end by saying that drugs destroy lives imagine if yvonne nelson or sarkodie have been engaging in abuse of drugs or they have been drug addicts they wouldn't have been where they are for us to spend data and time to talk about their books and their life how they got pregnant and their water and all that they would have been dead because when you abuse drugs drugs will abuse you so please stay alive don't abuse drugs don't abuse prescription drugs too so that you live long to enjoy the arts creative industry culture and tv you meet one more time bye bye peace